Taco Newsday for Thursday, March 4th, 2021. By the way, March 4th used to be the official day of presidential inaugurations. This all changed in 1933, though. As far as holidays go, March 4th is known for National Pound Cake Day, National Grammar Day, National Hug a GI Day, and National Sons Day. Speaking of sons, it just so happens to be my son Noah's birthday today. So happy birthday, son. Last Tuesday on March 2nd was also a very famous author's birthday. He's that famous guy who brought us the cat in the hat and green eggs and ham. I'm talking about none other than Dr. Seuss. Last Tuesday was actually National Read Across America Day, so make sure to grab yourself a book and get reading. Top stories for the day. For all you electronic music fans out there, it looks like the French dynamic duo Daft Punk is ready to pull the plug and power down. That's right, folks. After an amazing 28-year music career, Daft Punk is calling it quits. Their unique digital sound has definitely left an impact on the music industry and has touched the lives of many people around the world. The YouTube channel Rumi Official reminisces about some of Daft Punk's most amazing hits. So make sure to check out this video right here. And as always, the link is in the description box below. Don't be sad they're gone. Be happy it happened. By the way, if you're interested in why the band was called Daft Punk, stay to the end of this episode of Talking Newsday to find out. Moving from France to China, we got ourselves a Guinness World Record. The group EFYI and the Tianjin University took off on one epic flight. Okay, so their goal was to have the world record for the longest animation performed by unmanned aerial vehicles. 600 drones to be exact. You heard correct, folks. The group used 600 synchronized drones equipped with lights to retell the life and works of artist Vincent van Gogh. The performance lasted 26 minutes and 19 seconds, and the record was broken on December 18th, 2020. Make sure to check out the full performance right here and leave a comment in the section below and let me know what you think. Hey, hey, you stayed to the end of the episode. Well, it looks like you want to find out why the band was called Daft Punk. Okay, the story goes when the guys were first getting their music career off the ground, they called their band Darlin after a Beach Boys song. After one of their concerts, a music review came out and called their music Daft Punky Trash. Interestingly, the guys did not take offense to this review and they ended up changing their name to Daft Punk. So there's a little fun fact for you that you can use at your next electronic dance party. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Taco News Day for weekly episodes every Monday and Thursday. Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful Thursday, and I'll see you next time on Taco, Taco News Day. Day.